everybody jello is here battle rankings another fantastic day we got a great uh we got a great lineup for you we have a lot to cover and uh in a very long amount of time because you know we usually do about two hours anyway but um we want to get everything uh let me get a few housekeeping things out i am uh Joe Lewis. And I am accompanied by my lovely and talented producer, Anne. Say hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Anyway, uh, we got, like I said, we got a lot of going on here. Uh, well, first of all, we started off with this song uh, last week. And uh, it has, we, I, I, met, I kind of, we had a lot going last week too. But the thing is, is that it has an interesting history. That's why we always pick things on here. By the way, there is nothing random on this show other than my random uh, ramblings. No, there, there is nothing. We, we plan this out to a T. Ah, sorry. Shh. Oh, yeah, sorry. Don't, don't tell them what's in the secret sauce. Uh, okay, let, let's let's talk about the song. Uh, so, uh, and, and why don't you tell us about the song? And, 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 and it, it's... Uh, I guess it's significance in history. All right. Well, uh, the song of the Volga Boatman, which is it's a considered a traditional Russian song. It uh, it the melody was first recorded. I mean, you could just say he recorded it because uh, he wrote it down. Okay. Um, the original. The, you could say he's the composer, but he's not really the composer because he wrote down what he heard. And um, it's a traditional Russian song. It was Miley Balakirev, which was the first person who wrote it down in 1866. It's the first time there was any sort of piece of music ever written down. And it was sung, this particular melody was sung by the burlacks or barge haulers on the Volga River, which they they walk along the shoreline and pull, you know, they're kind of like pull, pulling the barges along the river. So, uh, by guys, the way, yeah, um not that you could see my my wife uh, off camera, but she's actually acting out as if they're <laughs> pooling. She's doing a mind thing. I'm like, you, you know, no, yeah, right. so I, anyway, I could see you. So the song became known specifically when they started doing recordings later that a bass would sing this song. So famous bass singers would sing the Volga song. And in this particular recording that we're using is from 1965. And this is the Red Army Chorus um, with the soloist, who's a very famous Russian bass soloist who was a member of the Red Army Chorus, but I guess he had a, uh, a great solo career even after leaving it. His name was Leonid Kar Karitna. Karitna. Like, I can't say his name. Hold on a second. Ah. Uh, Karitinov. So what? Leonid Karitinov, and he was, and he's got a beautiful voice. Don't try to be trust me. He's got oh a, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, gorgeous. Really nice, good bass, and uh, of course the Red Army Chorus kicks in serious butt with this song. But oh. anyway, this is 60, 1965, and they shot a video. If you go on to uh, YouTube, you can see the video of this particular recording. Uh, it's they, they kind of did like a music video of it, and the guy who shot the music video. Oh, hold on to your hats. Hold on to your hats. Okay, first of all, it was shot in Kirkino near Moscow by a former German cameraman of Hitler's. What? <laughs> so wait a minute, Hitler's the video. The video what, was, was it one there. of Hitler's personal uh, cameramen? Were, oh, yeah, someone. Yeah, a former cameraman of Hitler's. Yeah. Okay. Get the video that you can see on YouTube that goes with the song. You know, uh, well, <laughs> but anyway, a after the Fuhrer put one through his skull, I, I, I guess he was like, oh, I'm available now for <laughs> parties, bar mitzvahs, uh, whatever you want, I can film. But it is a really a nice recording of this song. Uh, I have to tell you, they did a good job of it. But anyway, so that's the story of the whole The Boatman song. It was... And this particular recording from 1965 that we're using. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> By the way, now I'm going to throw in my two cents. Uh, now, for those who like, uh, well, if you know anything about, I'm going to kill Filking? 
filking. Filking, which filking. is, yeah, singing, and usually done at cons. Cons, usually where people dress up. But anyway, uh, people put words to this song for people's birthday. So it's the, they put words for it, birthday song. Yeah, oh, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> like, like the, what, uh, like, Made like up. the candles on your cake burn like cities in your wake. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there's a ton of those like that. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's where most of us kind of know where that, that song came from or, or, or what that's used for. But, no, it's a gorgeous recording. Check it out. Uh, um, and you can find the words the, in English. is a poetic English translation of Yo He Ho is really what they're singing. Yo He Ho? Yo He Ho. Oh, as in the uh, yo. Uh, once more, once yo. again, still once more, yo heave ho. Yeah, it's kind of, and that's the original verse anyway. But they've added some verses to it since then. But so I have yo heave ho. <laughs> there you go. Pull the boat. <laughs> well, yeah, as a gang pulling the boat. Yeah, yeah, you know, is it is it their is it their version of Old Man River? I guess in some ways you could compare it to Old Man River because both are sung by basses. <laughs> yep, yep. And, and it happens on rivers. And, and it happens on rivers, yeah. So I, I, I see some parallels. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, there we go. That that Now you know more about the song. There you go. If After that, if you like what you hear today and you haven't already, uh, follow us on... Um, Battle rankings uh, in Facebook. Uh, I, by the way, I, I made an announcement last week. I I don't think Facebook after next year will be our primary, uh, but we'll probably be sending out some stuff it, it, um, through it. Uh, but we're on YouTube. Uh, go there. Um, um, what is it? Oh, follow. Follow us on YouTube. Hit the after you hit that. Hit the little bell to get notifications uh so when we come online uh on live you get a notification uh we're 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 typically doing this on tuesdays at 8 p.m eastern um so that that's that's what we're planning on doing uh the kind of the family set their schedule around it uh and here and here we are uh speaking of schedules um, let me go here and uh, put myself on the schedule. Now, nah, probably just do it this way. Well, today being the 17th, uh, we're doing the second part of our migration, um, but uh, that's what we're doing. So, pretty much, I we've gone through all the uh, the books, um, and that's what we're kind of uh, lining up to. And by the way, like I said. Some we do plan a bunch, and one of these things we planned was to go through the books so that right before Masters, you know, we've gone through the books and talk about it, and that's what we're writing up. So, Masters is this weekend in um, uh, in Hard Knocks Games, uh, in Liz um, in Kentucky. I, I think it's outside of Elizabeth now, they used to be in Elizabeth Town, uh, now. They're between Elizabeth Town and uh, another town I can't remember right off the top of my head. But anyway, they're right there. Um, uh, great store, great people. <clears throat> but as far as the schedule goes, this is what we're going to do. Uh, this weekend at Masters, we are going to have live updates. Um, my SME for today and the TO for the tournament ne uh, next week or this weekend. Uh, Brian Coaches will, him and I will be jumping on at various points to give updates. Um, so, you know, be looking for that. You'll be able to see. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Tom, who who knows because he's local. Uh, thanks, Tom. Hard Knocks game is still in uh, E Town. Uh, that's good. Uh, so, we're going to be doing updates. Uh, next Tuesday, we are, I am planning to have. A master's recap, kind of probably, uh, maybe hopefully a little bit more organized than when we did the Yankee uh, Team Yankee one. But uh, I am going to invite people who attended Masters to come on in, uh, come on, and we'll do war stories. Um, you know, talk about the tournament, what happened, how the games were. 
uh, that kind of stuff. I, I know whoever won, maybe they'll jump on to. We'll, you know, we'll see what, how people's schedules are. But we're going to do a Masters recap. Uh, and then after that, uh, the following week, we're, I am going to do a Toys for Tots. Uh, I think that rhymes up right. Hold on, look at the schedule. Because uh, how we plan things, do boom. Uh, not quite a Toys for Tots. I'm not, not too sure what I'm going to do on the first, but the eighth, we'll definitely do a Toys for Tots um, uh, recap. Uh, I'll probably give it a break or two, but we do have in the works a Battle Rankings Christmas special. We kind of did one last year, but we're going to do something this year. So, you know, I don't want to give it away, but it, it should be good. Um, little um, toy, uh, a Christmas special. <laughs> so, all right, with that, uh, be looking out for that. Um, I'll be, you know, pumping out information for everybody. Uh, one of th uh, another thing that came up. So, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, fun quizzes and prizes. You never know. Uh, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be uh, extremely entertaining. Uh, or at least in my mind, it's extremely entertaining. Hey, uh, something else that came up. I don't know if many of you have noticed, but a couple weeks ago, I actually, for the battle rankings uh, only members, I did announce what the points were. Kind of gave a preview to you guys. Uh, they are out now. Uh, and they posted, and I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I'm going to bring it up here. Uh, so I did a little clip uh, of the uh, um, from the Battle Battlefronts uh, Flames of War page, and so basically it's for the 2021 North American Tournament season. Uh, the uh, now, by the way, <clears throat> and I know there's a little confusion on this. Uh, let me let me uh, let me bring this up. Uh, the thing is, these points are for the national tournaments that Battlefront hosts. Now, those tend to be the big ones. Now, as a TO, if you're going to run something locally, you can do any points you want or any whatever the format you want. That that's up to you. Uh, I do know that a lot of people like you know they for some reason follow this format. You don't have to, but. If you do want to draw attendance, like say like a month before the uh, a big tournament, you run these points. People who are going to those national tournaments will show up because they want to kick the tires on a list before they submit it to Battlefront uh, for uh, you know what their list is that they're going to run for the tournament uh, for the nationals tournament. So you know obviously that's one way to draw attendance. But the other one is like you know. I, if you're going to run it after the you know, tournament, you know, you can mix it up because by that time people want to play something a little bit different. Um, so, uh, da, da, oh, you know what about the Christmas special? You know, it is a challenge. I don't know if it'll be worse than the Christmas, uh, the Star Wars Christmas special, but that was something that we were, we were putting a bar up to. And we say, if we could be better than this, we were successful. Though uh, dancing Wookies would be, it is a little hard to beat. Um, so uh, back back to this. So the uh, the tournament um, for nationals: late wars one hundred five, team Yankees one hundred five, mid wars ninety five. Uh, if you notice, there's no early war because the books are not out yet. Uh, so I'm just not planning on it yet. But anyway, that's at the Battlefront site. Yeah, so there we go with that. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Um, the next thing is, um, oh, let's talk about masters. Uh, let me bring in my uh, my do 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 SME and the tournament organizer, comrade. How you doing, Brian? Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Not too bad. Hey, I, I think I snuck you in and. Uh, uh, I I got you in under 17 minutes. How's that? Hey, that sounds that's great. Uh, <laughs> a couple 
the notes uh, for yep. uh, what you're saying. Uh, for the tournament, not only are we going to try to do, uh, or we will be doing live updates, uh, we're also going to try to do a live broadcast of the games. So every round, uh, we'll have a table set up. We're going to try to do that, uh, bandwidth permitting at the at the store, um, just so that you guys can and follow follow along and just uh, have something to watch if you want to uh, tune in. Uh, also, uh, on the early war, uh, the version three forces page is still up and functional. So if you still have access to that, you can do early war tournaments. Uh, they just won't. Well, uh, you know, There's just no nationals or nationals uh, for it, but yeah, it's still available if you if you have it. Well, uh, one of the things I wanted to show is the um, this is uh, the location that Hard Knocks is at. This was before their move. Uh, they were in a mall, and that section of the mall was going to get closed, uh, so they had to move. So they went and got this building. Um, and this is obviously before the move. These guys really cleaned up this building, and there's a lot of retail space in it. Um, so this is where Hard Knocks game is. And you know what? Um, I was thinking that par it's really home turf. I mean, I know Tom Burgess lives there, but guess what? It's a little bit of home vantage for me because – this is across the street. <laughs> yeah, so you got to watch out. <laughs> There's a Honda dealership across the street. Anyway, um, the, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, says, yeah. Leave it there because uh, if there's a, a problem at work, you just, you know, you zip across the street and easy access. Yeah, I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Uh, Top off the fluids. <laughs> anyway, but uh, that, that that's so that that's the uh, um, uh, what you would call it. Uh, but you know what? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, I know this is kind of become this is going to become a kind of a pre uh, pre masters kind of thing. But I have a uh, I have a small number of people to thank uh, to help uh, make this possible. Um, Brian, you're one of them for uh, coming up with the format and then coming out to TO. Um, then uh, uh, Tom Burgess, who helped me uh, um, with uh, Hard Knocks Games uh, to set up for the venue. The gentlemen at Hard Knocks Games, uh, especially uh, Chad uh, over there, uh, allowing us to use the space. Uh, and then um, then they got the Battlefront U.S. team, uh, John Matthews, and um, I hope I say his last name right, Rob Villeneuve, uh, who's over there in sales. He really came through. Uh, Rob was the guy that actually, uh, he did the legwork to get us the shirts and also make sure we got the, the plaque. And uh, kind of uh, well, then, then the team in, um, in New Zealand – uh, Chris Talley and uh, and and Pete, uh, you know the owner of Battlefront. Uh, you know he was involved in various different levels uh, when we're you know talking about points and the various other things. And uh, you know between Pete and John, they made sure that we were taken care of for, uh, for these items. And um, I was able uh, to get wood uh, around the plaque, and uh, there it is with the wood. Um, looks if great. You, if you notice, uh, it's red, and uh, so it's a, a red stain. And as my son said when I was staining it, he says, "Oh, I see you are staining it with the blood of your enemies." So there you go. That's why it's red. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's good. Um, but anyway, uh, the, I like to thank all those people for. Uh, uh, putting everything in place to make sure that you know this was going to happen, and uh, so that you know, and, and, and you know, it, it's kind of funny. It's how, how many moving pieces there are of this uh, to get these things going. Especially, uh, you know, a couple people are halfway around the world, a couple people are halfway across the country, 
Uh, and then we have a lot of people, you know, pretty, pretty, much, pretty much everyone's coming out of town except Tom. Um, so we got a lot of things going on. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Patrick, thanks. Uh, yeah, it's part of my, you know, I have a router and, uh, and a, you know, and a sander and, and a brush that can stain. <laughs> uh, so look at me. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, speaking of masters, let's talk about uh, the lists are in. Uh, they've been published to all the players. So uh, just to recap uh, or, or let you guys know. So uh, masters is uh, you, everyone start off at, starts off at 100 points. So you put a 100-point list together. And if you win a game, the next time you play, you minus five points. So if I played 100 and I won, I, my next time I play is 95 points. If you lost or tied, or ties are considered lost, you add five. So every time you play, you're going to be going up, you know, plus or minus five. Um, so if you win twice, you'd be playing at 90. If you lost twice, you'd be playing at 110. Uh, it's not a Swiss format. Okay, um, and the matchings are random, so you could have a you know, after the second, you know, uh, at third round, you could have a ninety point person playing a hundred and ten point person. Um, yes, that I guess that's the diabolical twist. So we'll see how this thing works, but it's completely random, uh, and no one plays anyone twice. Uh, right, I believe so, and um. So the thing is, everyone everyone submitted their list. You had you had to get, put eleven armies together, everywhere from one hundred and twenty down to seventy five, which what was an interesting that? exercise in army building. Yeah. Um, so what I want to do is kind of just review the hundred point list because just going through it quickly, hundred through one hundred and ten fifteen. Uh, well, 115 to like 85, everyone pretty much used a core list and then added or, or removed things to get to the points what they needed to do. Which, I mean, that's that's what I did. Uh, I think everyone else was doing the same. So uh, what I would like to do is just kind of go over and talk about people's 100-point list. Uh, after the tournament, I, I'm uh, we'll we'll publish these lists somewhere, uh, but you know on the battle ranking site. Um, but uh, let me uh, I, I kind of did some analysis. Uh, so did some other people. Uh, they are sharing that stuff. the uh, The main thing was uh, let's talk about the the Germans. So there was one SS. Four here, and they're all out of the D-Day book, and uh, one beach, uh, beachfront property guys. <laughs> what was it? The beach? Uh, what the hell are they call now? The beach group. Uh, one sixteenth is the Greyhound. No, no, I'm talking about the beach group. Oh, the beach defense group. Uh, yeah. So, so we had one beach defense group, one yeah. SS, and four D-Day here. Now, so that's six people. Uh, five of them, or no, is it all six? Four, no, four or five. Yeah, all did pack fronts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, that tells you something. The guys that did here, the four, all of them did Greyhounds. So that's where they did, was it the 116th or something like that? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So they all did. So the you know they did the Greyhounds. The SS did best infantry, so bumped them up to a, a four. They did, uh, they did best uh, firepower, which is the uh, half track. So bump them up to veteran. Oh, uh, they didn't do it. To, I thought he did the infantry. No, just the um, uh, just the half tracks. Oh, so he did do the best firepower. Okay, yeah, there it is. So, um, and uh, then 
uh, four of them, or basically, you know, all but one, had some type of SS tiger or panther. Uh, one had one one had panther. The rest had tigers. So there, there you go. I mean, yeah, I was actually surprised, especially once you dig into us. Uh, how, how many panthers there were outside of the the, the ninety to one ten uh, list area? Uh, oh, you mean like how many there were not or were? Were okay. Kind of save a point here or there. Uh, so no, no, oh, yeah, I guess you shave it off where you can. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to the British. Um, three rifles, one uh, rat, uh, rat rifle. That was me. I did the rats, and one Churchill. Um, the, uh, this is interesting. It was the, the combo. Oh, okay. Take, so that's, um, four, five, five. What's, what set the tank off the side, the, the Churchill, um, uh, of the rifles and rats, all four of them took two groups of M10 Achilles. Three of them took crocodiles. And the one that didn't take crocodiles took the M, uh, M4, you know, American uh, 76s. Two of the infantry took the 4.2 uh, 4 um, mortars. All right. And, uh, and then two of them also took planes. So there's not too many planes in this tournament, but the British are the ones who brought the planes. Yeah. So it's interesting. You, um, uh, for the, the tactics of what they can do, uh, they're probably, other than IL-2 in a very specific situation, uh, the uh, Typhoon is definitely probably the best plane in, in late war. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I fully agree. I mean that's why I I for my hundred point list I took the planes. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, actually, I should move this over so I can see comments. Um, all right, then. Uh, uh, do, do, do. All right, so now here's the interesting one. All right, hold on, I, I'm gonna get the uninteresting one out of the way. There was one American. Uh, they're playing uh, armored rifle. And their support, they, they pretty much took support with Churchill's, a, a ton of Churchill's, British Churchill's. So that, that that's the uh, armored rifle, you know, company. All right. Yeah, now, there, there's a story behind that, but I'll share that with you off stream. Okay. Oh, all right. This should be interesting. <laughs> uh, um, so something you can't share on, on screen? <laughs> Uh, I'd probably, probably just... okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So Soviets. Well, one, two, three, four, five, five different company types. Oh, one. Oh, hey, my hands are red. Uh, I was staining. I probably should put gloves on. Oh, you can't be red-handed. Um, anyway, let's let's <laughs> the uh, the the Soviets. I okay. Five different companies, six players, right? So the Soviets were the largest, and here's the here's the breakdown: one Churchill group, one T thirty four eighty five Hero group, two Hero Shock um, infantry, one Hero uh, rifle, and one Sapper, uh, which would be the engineers. <laughs> All right. Um, gee whiz. I I'm talking about just, you know, the it's interesting is that I think the diversity that you have with the Soviets, whereas the Germans, be, just because the way the tanks roll, you know, I guess tanks roll, it, 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 
infantry is the way to go. If you're doing Germans, infantry is the way to go. I think British is the same, you know, kind of the same way. Um, and well, the Americans just unfortunately just don't have too much to answer anything big. Um, but yes, for the Soviets, uh, and here's kind of the breakdown. And we were, you know, we we discussed this last week. If you want to last watch, you know, hey, you know what? Stop if you're not listening. To this, Stop it. Listen to the last week's show. Come back and pick it up from here. Anyway, we talked about this with the cards. Uh, with the cards, uh, I got this breakdown. We talked about the RPG-6, uh, the guys that went heavy, inf um, heavy infantry. Three of them took, um, yeah, three of the four did the RPG-6. Um, three that could took the decoy tanks. One company took the you know the smoke. Um, oh shoot, and the, the and you lay it down for two turns. Yeah, uh, that was Tom with his T thirty four group, which I thought was pretty smart. Uh, only two took the recon by combat. And only, and as I counted real quickly, only two took IS twos as a support. As 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 a support option for their uh, um, for their on their force. Yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised not to see uh, IS eighty fives. Um, uh, I thought for sure that we'd see a, a heavy tank company. But apparently, people just weren't feeling it in lower points. Even though you didn't have to carry that all the way through the point system, uh, the, the only person that really uh, jumped around uh, out of uh, different uh, formation sets is Chris Jackson. Uh, and uh, even though he ended up settling on the uh, engineer sapper, or, or uh, I forget now what he ended up settling on, but uh, for his hero, hero, hero mortar uh, rifle, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I uh, one I thought there'd be more uh, jumping around to different formation types depending on uh, you know the point level, but people pretty, I guess, were more comfortable with sticking with. Uh, one formation throughout the whole uh, spectrum uh, and making that work until you get to like the extremes, uh, either the 75 or 125, you see a lot of people uh, switching off um, to different companies for that. Uh, mostly, I think, because nobody thinks they're going to play the 125 or the 120, so they just kind of like threw something goofy together. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, how that how that goes? I think there's some really good list in there, uh, really good makeup, um, and uh, it should be a close. Uh, it's really going to come down to uh, how your random draws are. I think we'll see probably somebody get down to eighty five, uh, eighty five list, um, and then depending what their opponent is, if it's another, you know. Uh, uh, 90, 95, or just somebody that is really good or gets into a, uh, a favorable situation, uh, you know, we might even see somebody go down to 80. I don't think we'll see anybody in 75, but, you know, it just really depends on luck of the draw uh, and how the, the cards fall and, uh, you know, just being a really good general uh, and, uh, you know, setting up the board, uh, you know, missions and stuff like that uh, in your favor. So it's going to be a really interesting, um, uh, interesting process to go through this uh, and see how the 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 handicaps fall uh, within the uh, within the tournament. Yeah. Um, well, I, I know my my goal is just to win one game. So that way, that <laughs> way, <laughs> first one. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see, uh, especially since I put my I, – I mean, my list is not that uh, imaginative, and I just put it together, what, the night before? So, you know, eh, Desert Rats, some – you know, put the, uh, you know, eight 
M10 Achilles and three crocodiles and uh, what else can I fit in there? You know, <laughs> there we go. We'll see what happens. Uh, I, I, I think, uh, I, I know Jackson has an interesting list where, oh, gee, Willikers, uh, it was, um, where, where is he? Um, oh, there he, there he is. Yeah. Uh, his, uh, hundred point list. Uh, I think the only, uh, he has, uh, four SU 100s. Yeah. And I think everyone else is on foot. And I counted 42 infantry stands. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's an interesting uh, – the SP-100 uh, is an interesting choice. Um, and I talked to him a little bit about that uh, simply because, you know, that five cross on the SU 100 is – really can, depending on the board, uh, can be a huge handicap to yourself. Uh, mm. Try to get those things to move around and where you can put them. Uh, but uh, his reasoning behind that was uh, he was looking for something that is uh, for uh, uh, reserves. So the, the uh, you know, how his reserves fall in that, in that particular list. So uh, really um, uh, interesting choice. But, yeah, it, a ton of infantry stands in that list. Uh, I'm uh, – a ton of RPG grenades um, in that yeah. list. It's yeah. He has yeah, five. five well, yeah. Basically, he has five infantry uh, things and five AT grenade. Um, well, it's, and it's – yeah. yeah. So, because he has five cards of it, and then there's two in each one. So, uh, you know, heaven forbid he, he goes against somebody that is, uh, you know, all tanks or that sort of main <laughs> push. That's going to be a tough day for that that opponent. Uh, right. So, it, it, it's, uh, it's, that's a, it's a tough list. Like I said, I love the creativity that uh, some people have in, uh, in their list and uh, where they uh, where they dug into to, to pull out what they think is a uh, you know advantages are very very interesting uh, insight into into people's you know psyche not to try to psychoanalyze anybody but it's just a very interesting uh, thing to to look at. Okay, yeah, um, but kind of just interesting how the list break down. You know, mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, you know, and of course, you know, and and, and we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, uh, you know, you say proofs in the pudding, but you know, one once the list, you know, but then again, then then you, then you start to get in the handicap as things go on, and, and you know, plus or minuses, and what's this going to look like when it plays that? Um, you know, I I don't know. I mean, you know, there's some lists where um, oh, who who the heck has uh, actually? Hold on, I think. Yes, uh, 16 Churchills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 16 Churchills, two IS-2s, three KV-8s. That's with the flamethrowers, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Should be interesting. You know, yeah. I, I mean, what, what, how would that play against all that infantry? I, I You know, I, I it's... Uh, you know, of course, uh, map mission, you know, oh, by the way, uh, you know, <clears throat> yeah, you know, when you, uh, when you were talking about, uh, those IS-2s had, oh no, the, um, uh, what was the, uh, SU-100s, you know, mm -hmm. the five crosses, I'm like, I'm like, a, uh, bring no hills, lots <laughs> of forest, yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Flat terrain, all woods, many walls. Anyway, uh, with, with my luck, if I bring something with a five cross, uh, I'm going to get the the board with uh, all the head road, uh, and then river that crosses the middle of it, and it's just like, yeah, you know, shoot myself in the head. Mm -hmm. You know uh, what's interesting is uh, for this hundred point list. Uh, 
I, I think only one person, you know, for the Germans brought three tigers, but they didn't bring three because I, I thought three SS tigers with the with the um, tiger ace, it, it makes them forty points, and it's like ah, it's my only reserve. Yeah, it means it's a hell of a reserve too, but no, no one did that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think there was any Tiger Ace cards at, at all, other outside the you know the Ringer list uh, that's being brought. Uh, so uh, yeah, that is uh, was a bit surprising. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people just brought the two uh, SS Tigers, and uh, some cases they brought three, but two was pretty popular. Uh, you know, there's just hard to deal with. So uh, you know, it's a great choice. Uh, practically does everything on twos. Uh, so, uh, you know, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> pointed, I guess, reasonably. Uh, yeah, it's just a tough, tough piece to deal with. Well, um, the, the one Churchill a squadron that's, that's coming in. Yeah, it's got uh, two Churchill six pounders, two church. 75 millimeter, three late 75, two of the Churchill CSs. Uh, this is the one that only brought four M10s um, and some Stewart's is their uh, recon. Uh, you know, oh, uh, oh, and they do have one rifle uh, uh, platoon. So, yeah, that, that's that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty interesting. By the way, I was looking at. Uh, I'm finally looking at um, a certain person that brought en you know, sa uh, sapper engineers. Yeah, five S uh, IS twos, the 120 millimeter kind. Mm -hmm. Three Panthers. Uh, five SU 76s, and then. I think you brought the minimum of engineers that you need, which is like 16 plus uh, two of the uh, headquarters. So eight and eight. And uh, they, they're bringing their smoke pots. Yeah. <laughs> body armor. Yes. And, and body armor. Yeah, oh, me tough. That's got like smoke if you got them. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, uh, actually, uh, there was a lot of uh, – of that engineer sapper uh, infantry in the in the list, uh, pretty popular Soviet infantry, and I, I can see why. Uh, you know, the way we're playing it is uh, before setup, uh, you choose what's in that uh, sapper, so it gives you a little bit more freedom. I know there's there's like a Facebook post or whatever uh, by Wayne or or Phil or somebody that says, no, you got to choose it at. Um, uh, at the time you submit your list or something weird like that. Well, it, it, the wording is is different and such that uh, there's no consistency between, like, if you change your BA-64 uh, and you want a PTRD or something on it, it says replace at no cost. But um, the separate platoon doesn't have anything like that. So uh, we're playing it like that until they can update uh, the lessons from the front. So I think people are trying to get a little bit more flexibility uh, out of a, a infantry group. Uh, and uh, so that you know uh, makes it a, a, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent uh, uh, platoon. Yeah, um, yeah, it does. Well, uh, let's uh, let's take a look. Um, uh, yeah, actually, probably it, sh it should be up to the mission parameters uh that is correct all right um i i think i think with the uh we'll have more talk um during um uh, during whatchamacallit the uh, live show you know be you know by the way uh that's why i say if you're watching this and you want to hear more and, and and you're not going um the uh um okay the uh if you're not going move uh like our you know 
somehow become a member, either become a member on Facebook or like us and hit the notification bell in YouTube so that when we broadcast and we, cause we're just going to jump on and just do it, uh, you know, live as things are going uh, and where we can fit them in and you'll get updates for masters and then you hear whatever crazy stories are going on there. Uh, cause you know, it's a really wild crowd there. Um, and, uh, you you uh, uh, slow down pills for frets to you know keep them from bouncing off the walls. Right, right. Yeah, what was it? What oh, a cocaine frets. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> just <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, bouncing off the walls. Uh, you know, jonesing for that next game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, oh, okay. Oh no, we're not that crazy. But you know. You know, jump in, see what we're doing. Uh, you know, we'll be giving updates. Uh, but the only way that you know that we're going to be doing that is if you hit that notification bell or you follow us on Facebook, uh, so that you know we give you a heads up so you can jump on and see what we're doing. Uh, if you can't watch it, um, you can always, um, uh, in you know, actually, uh, I was thinking about that too. Yeah, at some point afterwards. Uh, especially the first night and the last night, uh, I will be doing something from the wherever we're at. <laughs> yeah, tune in, see what we're doing. All right, I think. Uh, is there anything else we need to talk about that, or should we move on to actually the topic du jour, which is the Soviet migration book? I think we're ready to go, Ivan. All right, comrade. Uh, let's remind people, first of all, we asked everyone to take a little survey. And that survey, we broke it down each formation. We asked you to rate it as an M, A, B, C, or D. M, it's the meta. And everything, we have not had a meta yet. We've had a couple close contenders, but not a meta. Uh, a lot of A, strong contenders, a uh, few weaknesses. A uh, handful of Bs, which is uh, good against certain opponents' situations. Uh, a bunch of Cs, which is a, it's a potentially it's a fun list, but it'll struggle. And we've had our fair share of Ds, which are dogs. Um, it, if you are new to the game and you have um, um, not, uh, um, if you have, uh, if you're new to the game. And you're just picking up, and you want to kick the tires and stuff like that. You listen to the uh, listen to what we're talking about, and then it should give you a good idea about what direction you maybe you want to go, and or, or what what how you want to form your uh, newly acquired army. Um, remember, we are taking this from a point of view that you are a um, going to be playing in a tournament, and it's somewhere between eighty to a hundred points uh, ish. Um, so that we're kind of taking it from that uh, point of mind view, point of mind, point of point of view, this point of view, uh, or that mindset. That's it. Point of view and mindset. I was trying to put them to, like a mash, put them together. I do that all the time. Yeah, it's like blah, 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 blah. Uh, and uh, so that, that's the point of uh, view we're doing now. Just because we kind of like poo poo it here. That doesn't mean that it doesn't work for things like uh, scenario games or that kind of stuff, uh, which, you know, I, all these lists are fine for scenario games because uh, there's a lot of, well, there's some historical things that go together to mash these things together, the, uh, these formations. So uh, historically wise, it's great, uh, but we're, we're, you know, I'm a, this is a tournament-centric site. Uh, with tournament centric themes, and this is a tournament centric uh, look at at list. Anyway, with that said, uh, let's take a let's take a look at last week and what we had. Uh, yeah, don't mind the letters on the side. Uh, I want to take a look. This is where we left off last time. Uh, so what we did is I split it in half. I, I kind of did. Uh, heroes and non-heroes. So the non-heroes went first, and we kind of threw a uh, a bit with the uh, with a guard. So no shock of shocks, the IS two guard heavy tank uh, regiment uh, came in as an A. Our Bs were the T thirty four 
T-3485s, the Heavy SP Artillery Regiment, and the Reconnaissance Company, uh, which I actually have a, a kind of an affection for for some strange reason. Uh, C's were the Motor Rifle Platoon, the Rifle Platoon, uh, or Battalion, sorry, the Cossack Regiment, and which, by the way, it was almost a D. And then the T-70 Recon. Um, so that's where we're at. You know, that's where we're at. So let's, uh, let's go here. Uh, let me open this up. Boop. So I have my things where I can keep track of stuff. And now what we're going to do is we are going to talk about, uh, I'll just go down the list that I have here. Uh, the Hero T-34-85 group. Uh, oh, you know what? Shoot, let me move my page to that. Um, so let me open my... Uh, um, uh, talk amongst yourselves. Hey, what do you think about the T-85 uh, Hero, Brian? You know, I, as a formation goes, uh, it, uh, pretty strong. Uh, so uh, a couple of, of notes. Uh, you could take guard, uh, guard's tank card with it. Uh, there's also a couple of heroes. Uh, uh, Vastly uh, is a popular name apparently during this time. So uh, two of these cards are with uh, Vastly. Uh, one gives you um, a spearhead unit basically uh, for four points. Uh, and then you can reroll the commander's uh, two hit roll. Uh, and then the uh, the other uh, is uh, doesn't suffer the plus one to hit penalty for shooting uh, tank team that is in concealment, uh, and that is for uh, two points. Which is, if you have two points to spare, that's not bad for for spearhead. Uh, if I think for a themed force, if you're trying to do legitimate like four detachments, uh, then maybe that uh, would be something you pick up. Uh, otherwise, I think probably it's a little stiff for. Uh, four points, um, but you have integrated uh, AA. Uh, you have the the uh, uh, hero SMG company, which you can put on as tank riders. You can also get the tank destiny uh, card. I'm sure I'm butchered that. Uh, you have mortars right in the, the 82 mortars right in the company, uh, as well as the anti tank. But it's not really. Uh, it's not. Mobile is the guns, so that would be kind of wasted for what you want to do. Um, you know the the hero C thirty fours are you know four point three four point five points of tank or four tanks, and it, it's a stout little platoon. I really wish they would have uh, up armored. If you remember in version three, uh, the C thirty four eighty five had seven uh, front armor. Uh, I wish they would have done that uh, here. Uh, but when they redid all the armor values, uh, Battlefront software to keep it at, at six, uh, maybe also for simplicity. Yeah, but, the trade off was uh, you lost the armor, but you gained the speeds. Oh, I mean, well, two inches, but you know, yeah. well, that cross country is phenomenal on T80, uh, TD 34s. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And two plus cross. Uh, you know, AT 12 is a really good. Uh, gun for uh, late war because you're you're a, a lot of your medium tanks are all uh, you know that six to eight front armor and twelve would do pretty uh, pretty well against that. Uh, mm -hmm. It starts to suffer once you get into uh, you know the, against the heavy tanks, uh, you know especially something like a Tiger or a uh, you know IS uh, tank. Um, but uh, you know, compared to you know, a vet Sherman is four point three points. Uh, the Panzer four SS is uh, four point three to four point five. So really, kind of when you compare it to those tanks, um, I think you're in pretty good shape with T thirty four. You know, they have uh, skill three with the crafty tactics. Uh, they're fit on threes, um, but. Uh, I think that could be uh, negated in a lot of cases if your effective use of terrain and stuff like that will uh, increase that. But yeah, it's a really soft platoon. The fact that you can get AA uh, right into it, um, you know, and uh, stuff like that. 
Um, yeah, it's I, I really like this uh, 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 explanation. Don't mind me. I'm trying to fix something that I was thinking it's causing the echo. Oh, all right. Maybe that's better. No, we'll find out. I don't know. Hey, you know what? Uh, okay. So with the T eighty T thirty four A five, uh, I actually built uh, a company. Uh, I put a list together with this. Just you try it out. Uh, I, I actually I, I I did okay with them. Uh, you know after I tried you know after I learned them, I learned, that's why I was trying to figure out how to use them. Uh, I had the T thirty uh, the T thirty four eighty fives, and I and I I backed them up with some IS twos. Um, I, I I think you you have to play kind of ninja like a ninja with your T thirty fours. Otherwise, there's there's way too many things that could wipe them off the table. Yeah. But when I yeah. when you can with yeah, the, when you can the uh, proliferation of tigers, uh, it uh, yeah that will disappear pretty quickly. Yes. And so if you can, um, if you can, um, oh man, if you can, um, and bring them in mass, uh, like for example, I, I was able to bring all eight against four, four Panthers and I was able to overwhelm and got enough hits and that kind of stuff to actually make a dent. Uh, and I got the first. I got the first fire in. Um, then I, I received. You know, basically, I received my knocks back. Um, and then, um, you know, then I had enough left to finish off the rest of the Panthers. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of, uh, you know, I don't know. I, it was. You basically just don't run them out there, and then all of a sudden, when you found your time you know then you strike like a cobra yeah, that's exactly right so this unit really uh uh lends itself to kind of doing an alpha strike um you know with the two plus cross you can effectively use or uh, go through woods um uh, with little concern and if you wanted to i think the unditching log uh, allows you if you really had to get all your units through uh, or all the units in your platoon through woods to be able to do an alpha strike uh, onto a unit, then uh, you know you could certainly uh, use that because it's a one point card that lowers your or lets you re roll uh, your cross check. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, in that roll, uh, the T3485, the heroes are pretty darn good. Hey, um, I got a little comment here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, just real before we go too far. Uh, hey, Dean, about the reconnaissance company. Um, the one thing I like about it is I, I, I like 50 cows. So all of a sudden I, I have a whole bunch of 50 cows, you know, it's, I, you know, I have a joke. I, I, I one time I put so many 50 cows in the table I told my opponent that, uh, you know, my 50 cows, so many, I'm going to block out the sun with the, with the, you know, with the bullets and, uh, you know, which is basically we'll fight in the shade. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how many, uh, I just like about putting out 50 cows. Um, so that's this is just something goofy about me. Uh, well, but the other thing of the, uh, if you watch last week's, you'll, you'll hear me talk about basically the recap was, uh, they're great little things, but you gotta remember you only have six guys, which you know typically with Russians you get very you don't get attached to the stands. Well, when you only have six stands, you kind of get a little attached to them uh, because you know you lose too many, they they tend to go away real quick. Okay, anyway, so um, back to the uh, T the T thirty eighty fives. Okay, once again, one thing about the Russians I really like is that not only do you have the tanks, but he brings a lot of friends in the formation. You yeah. got the Hero SMGs, you get your mortars. If you, you want AA, great. If you want anti-tank, 
great. It's there. Oh, hey, look. It comes with the 76 anti-tank company. What can the anti-tank company do? It can lay that smoke out there for the first turn, and all of a sudden your tanks can move on up and be in someone's grill without taking a shot. So uh, on the, the 76 anti-tank company is uh, not able to take that. Only our 76. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. We all we just I'm making that mistake again. Right. You can't fire artillery. Yeah. Yeah. I think it says 76 millimeter. 122. Something. Yeah. 76 millimeter artillery and then 122. Uh, they're both eight points. Uh, so pretty good buy. Yeah. Well, you can always buy it separately. Okay. Anyway. Right. You can take it in. No, no, support. Yeah. Well. What do you get the T eighty four eighty fives as a? Uh, well, how would you rate them? I'd probably rate them a, uh, an A. I think that this would be a strong list for uh, somebody that, that can utilize terrain uh, to its advantage. If you're playing, if you're normally playing on a desert board, uh, <laughs> probably not so much. Uh, but if, if you have some terrain, I think uh, it's a strong candidate for uh, an A. Uh, well, I will give it an A also. Uh, and let's look to see what the public gave it. Look at that, an A. Matter of fact, a very, very strong A. Uh, so 60% of the uh, uh, respondents I uh, gave it that A, uh, and then 34% B, uh, one C, not too sure why, and no Ds or Ms, uh, but, yeah, it's definitely a strong A. That, that C is the guy that only plays on desert boards. Oh, yeah, probably. Hey, why am I on a desert board oh, again? So let me move that over to the A. All right. Now let's talk about its counterpart. Uh, ba, ba, ba. the um, the regular T-34 hero. Yeah, it, it's sort of very similar. Uh, but the only addition is uh, for the uh, second kind of compulsory, you can take a 270 or a long time you know, hero. Um, you know, that Three points of paint. Uh, you can integrate uh, the two thirty four eighty fives into the the platoon. Uh, you take two seventy six and two eighty fives uh, for sixteen points. So two points less than uh, just a full company of two thirty four eighty five. Four two thirty four is twelve points. Uh, with 89 and overworked, um, I'm not real sure it would be overly effective in late war. Um, it's just nine is getting to that point where, um, you know, six and seven can potentially bounce that fairly reliable. A six or seven front armor, uh, eight definitely. Um, you know, and then there's just too much stuff with 18, 10, 11, and 12 that's shooting back at you. Uh, that um, uh, that can do a lot of damage. So uh, I'm not overly enthused about playing this particular um, this particular battalion without uh, you know without support uh, to to help keep the focus off the T34s. But that's not what the discussion is about. It's about the formation itself. Uh, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 I think you'd have probably a rough go. The, the overwork on the 89 gun is just um, and brutal, not in the good way. <laughs> yes, yes, that's correct. Yeah, I'd have, uh, like a C. Um, it's just it'd be it'd be pretty tough to 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 navigate. I'm not saying it's impossible. Um, you know, you still have the the three skill. Uh, with the tactics, um, and then the two plus cross, so uh, you could potentially, you know, rely on, uh, you know, blitzing 
you know, the high movement rates uh, of your tactical 12 um, and, uh, you know, the cross to try to get through woods and stuff like that. Uh, but it, it would be a pretty uh, big uphill battle. All right. My, my thought on this is um, I think at a lower point game, I would give it higher points. I mean, higher rating. But the more points you're playing out there, just the more things that can kill you, and that, and that and that you have to worry about taking care of. I, I, you know, it's like if you think about maybe a seventy point game, and you wanted to be a little cagey, that you could throw out, do this, uh, bring Valentine's with you, and you're like, oh, you know, I might, I might have a good formation, just for the fact that you know, I, I. I'm probably the biggest thing on the block, right? Uh, but until he uh, brings the Soviet Church formation, and then yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I get. I think this would be a fun list. Um, uh, I think a fun list, but it'll struggle. Um, so you know, uh, I don't know. I don't. Know. It's between a B or C. I'm pretty stuck on a C uh, it just because it doesn't, uh, as you mentioned, it just doesn't scale well. Uh, whereas right. some of the other lists do scale. Uh, and I think that once you started getting into the B range, it's got to, you got to be able to play that uh, a lower point total and a higher point total. Um, you know, and the, the fall off, uh, the fall off is uh, a pretty uh, stark. Yeah. Um, let, let's, uh, let's see what the, uh, the voting public said. Not a mullet yet, so I still have long hair, but, uh, maybe, maybe we can make a wait, uh, wager on it. If, if somebody can get to a 75 point list in the, at Masters, maybe I do shave it into, uh, a, into a mullet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think you're pretty safe on that one. <laughs> um, let's take a look. Uh, a lot of people said B, 63% B, yeah. uh, 18A, 15C. Oh, there's a D. Maybe it's the guy that plays on desert tables. Yeah. Uh, a, a, no M, of course. Yeah. Uh, you and I were kind of uh, – I was between B and C, kind of leaning more towards the C. Yeah. Uh, wow, that is just a lot of people rating it pretty high. Um, yeah, when, when you uh, – yeah, my, it's – um. Yeah, I mean, it's just too much I can go up against it at 100 points that will just uh, decimate. And again, uh, we're focusing on not the support that you can bring with it because you can alleviate uh, that pressure on the formation by taking uh, the support options to, to help, uh, help with that. Uh, and when you consider that, then yes, I would say it's probably a pretty solid B list. But just the formation itself, um, and the fact that it doesn't scale uh, into uh, kind of the, the mid to higher points, then um, you know, it, to me, I'd, I'd be hard to bring it off a off a C. But you know, the masses have spoken; they they think it's it's a B. <laughs> anyway, um, I think. Um, uh, by the way, more people talking about. Uh, anyway, I, I I think let's throw it as a C because uh, in in future generations, people are looking for a li uh, list to do. They w probably is your is your first list is not way to go. You're running a tournament. You know, if you're going to bring it to a tournament, you might you know just pay a couple points more and take the T thirty four eighty fives. You know, you don't have to worry about the uh, uh, over overworked. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I I just think you know, point point for point, the T thirty four eighty five is much better, much better way to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can integrate those eighty fives into the T thirty four platoon, but or a company, um, but then you're just like half caught. Uh, you have two eighty fives, two seventy sixes. So you're kind of like crutching on one side as, you know, uh, 
Yeah, it's just not a. Well, let's talk about shock and all the hero shock rifle battalion. Um, let me pull that up here too. Hero shock rifle shocking. Yeah, by the way, I was trying to figure out what makes them shocking. Um, I mean, they're. I mean, this is the plus three on motivation with the comms are. Um, yeah. Still hit on threes, save on threes. They're veterans threes. Um, they have, they're just ready to fire one. Um, the, I, I don't know what, what, what you can add a flamethrower, but still, what, what, what makes them shock? I think this is the way that they were, they, uh, excuse me, the way they were used, um, kind of in, in a, a forward uh, area. Oh well, yeah. well, okay. You can take a storm group if you want to pay them that many points, because hmm. um, they're fearless no matter what. Even no combs are, and uh, they hit on twos and assault. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, so that's where you give them that RPG card. You know, um, I don't, I don't know. You would want that. Uh, that's to me. That's more defensive uh, for that particular form group. Um, Oh, we, we, you'd still be offensive with it. I'm going to assault your tanks. Yeah, with all the machine guns. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could certainly try to line that up. Uh, the, the only issue I have with – so, first of all, let's talk about the, the actual formation. Yeah. I uh, really like uh, this formation. Uh, you can get the, uh, the, of course, the shock rifle and then the storm group that we're talking about. You get a couple of those uh, if you want. Uh, machine gun. Uh, you can get an 82 mortar, 120 uh, millimeter mortar. You can get the scout platoon, which is also known as the decoy, uh, decoy tank card integrated into your company. Um, and then, of course, you can get a couple of small uh, anti tank uh, companies. Uh, right. uh, uh, small 45 millimeter, which I think are nine, seven, seven, I don't know. Um, yeah, 45, yeah. So uh, pretty, and you get a couple of cards. You can get hero naval infantry, guards rifle, uh, hero Cossacks, which I'm sure we'll talk about here in a moment. Um, yeah, I mean, a fearless vet uh, hit on uh, threes is not pretty terrible. You get some pretty good options uh, with that PTRD, HMGs, uh, and of course, you mentioned the flamethrower. Uh, all for less than uh, one point a team. All teams are useful. Uh, in the hero shock. In other words, uh, they can all participate in the, in the assaults unless they're getting some of these extra things like HMD or PTRD. But uh, so they're actually better value uh, than the straight up like rifle company, uh, which you're paying over a point a team. Uh, you know, these are, you know, 14 stands for, at, uh, for 11 points. Uh, so pretty good value uh, in that aspect. Saving on threes instead of fours with the rifle. Um, and then the third group is interesting. To me, they're, for what it is, um, which is basically fearless of that uh, infantry that can assault on twos, um, it does have some teams I think are not – uh, and that is a that is a Soviet star right there, comrade. So, yeah, uh, uh, so, yeah. Um, the uh, PTRD and HMG and mortar that are integrated, I don't think are going to help you too terribly much. Um, yeah, the, it comes to style play then. Yeah, I mean, uh, to me, this is a, an aggressive, uh, an aggressive infantry unit that can be used to get all the 
uh, really push uh, the initiative. Uh, I mean, you can certainly push some things if you want to. Uh, depends on how many you are. Obviously, if you're two or three, um, you know, you could certainly, you know, try to sneak up in one or something. But, um, uh, but yeah, really, the, the mortar and the HMG and the PTRD that you're forced to buy with it really kind of yeah, uh, goes down. And you're paying a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit above uh, one point of team for that. Still better than the, the normal four plus I could bring. Yeah. So, oh, I just had to say, uh, what, Tennessee top hat or combi little hats? Anyway. <laughs> Just wondering. Um, so as the uh, – I well, I, I think, uh, like, yeah, bang for the buck for the infantry, they're pretty good. Um, you have some options about what you want to do. Uh, I, I, the options of the mortar is the option to bring the, uh, you know, the de decoy tanks. I, I, this, the, I think they have a lot to offer. Um, you know, I – I'd give these guys an A. I mean, if I was going to put an infantry uh, list together, this would be one I would definitely be looking at. Absolutely. And and the, the thing that I thought I'd see more of in the list is this little Maxim machine gun company where you can get nine Maxim machine gun uh, for six points and then put your RPG card on that because they're infantry teams. That's uh, 54 shots you know, uh, you know, fire because <laughs> there's six six uh, uh, rate of fire of six. Uh, right. Obviously, I think it's like two or three down, but still eighteen shots. In two. And then if teams try to come in, we get the two RPG uh, shots coming at them. So, uh, you know, to me, that's that's a pretty effective uh, defensive. Uh, stopper if you're just trying to hold down an objective. Yeah, that, well, that would definitely hold it down. Um, well, I, I would give these guys an A. Well, uh, how about you? Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I think an A would be uh, right on the lines. There's a lot of options. And the fact that you can integrate the decoy uh, tank card into the formation, um, you know, helps keep that formation, you know, active. So, uh so yeah, I'm I'm all about the the A on this one. Well, uh, actually, a lot of people, uh, forty seven percent, almost half, uh, said A. Um, Thirty four percent said B. Eighteen percent said C. No D's or M's. Go figure. Uh, the C's kind of make my head scratch a little because uh, I, I I could see how it could be an A or B either way. But yeah, you know, we'll uh, we'll move these guys right into a hero shark rifle. All right, moving on, hero motor rifle. Hero motor rifle. Uh, la da da. So return hero motor rifle. Here we go. Yep. Uh, pretty good looking formation. Uh, you can get the guards rifle card if you uh, want to do that. Uh, very similar to the Hero Shock uh, as far as setup, uh, but with more. So if, uh, you know, I even put on here best infantry. This is to me by far uh, the best infantry formation uh, we've seen. Uh, the infantry is. Uh, 11 for 12 points, and that is uh, that set on threes, but that they have for the uh, motherland, so they assault on twos. With the commissar, they uh, morale is a three. Um, I mean, that's that's just fantastic. All the teams are useful. The rate of fire uh, two on the move, you know, or no matter what, yeah, or, yeah. So I mean, that's uh, fantastic. Um, the uh, you can get the hero SMG. Uh, you can also get uh, any of your hero uh, tank uh, companies 
uh, the 85, the, the regular T34, 270 Valentine, uh, right in the core formation. It's got a BA-64 on our car platoon, which is also known as a decoy card replacement. Um, so that's integrated right into uh, the card. You can get an additional uh, recon or reconnaissance uh, platoon in it. Uh, AA, uh, you can get actually the bigger anti-tank guns if you want that. Uh, plenty of choices for mortars, 82, 120. Uh, get the, the maximum machine gun uh, stopping unit. Um, I mean, if if the hero shock was uh, was an A, I, I, this is uh, mo, mo beta as we like to call it down here. So, um, I mean, I, I could be as far as a formation, definitely an A. Um, I could probably be talked into an M because there's so many options you can get with it. And the fact that you can integrate the, the Panthers right into that company. Um, uh, it, it's pretty strong. Uh, and then when you, of course, we're not considering support options, but then support options on top of this. Very, very stout uh, list. I almost always take uh, the Hero Motor Rifle uh, in my uh, Soviet list. Uh, even if it's just a support option, uh, they're just assaulting maniacs. So, um, so pretty good, pretty good formation. Well, uh, it 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 does have everything, uh, including the kitchen sink. Yeah. Uh, you know, multiple. You know, the, you could take three things of Hero Motor. You got you got a tank option that's part of it, SMG heroes. Uh, by the way, your your machine gun combo like you were talking about before, you still have that. Uh, mortar options, anti tank options, recon options, AA options. You have it all, uh, and um, points wise, you can't beat it. Um, and you could do the decoy. Um, yeah, I'm. I, I, it's what is not to love about this this formation. Um, it, it just it basically just gives you everything. Yeah, if I was to help uh, a new player, that, especially somebody that wanted uh, to play Soviet, so I was undecided, I would definitely point them uh, this direction. This is uh, so much flexibility uh, in it. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the, yeah, uh, I don't know what else you could want in a platoon that would uh, help keep a formation around. Um, yeah, uh, again, I, I hate to give it an M rating because once you break that, you know, uh, that ice, um, uh, you know, opens a floodgate. So, but. This is about as close as you can get uh, with what we can, especially compared to uh, other formations that, that we reviewed in the past, uh, and not just Soviet one, but uh, the rest of them. So, uh, yeah, definitely the best infantry formation I've, I've seen. Uh, I actually, I don't see a weakness. Uh. Yeah, it's because uh... it, the one thing it has against uh, above the hero is the fact that you hit on twos. Yeah, and that rate of fire too. Even if you get pinned, yeah. and someone's coming in on you, geez, you know. That's uh, actually, I've surprised people with that before, uh, especially in like mid war, and people are like, "Oh, I pinned your infantry." I'm like, eh, "It doesn't matter. It's still." Rate of fire too. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> so yeah, that's catch people. I'm like, yeah, it's just makes it easy for to remember. That's that's why I tell them it's two all the time. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, and the fact that you know you have eleven stands of that. Yeah, that, that's tough to get into without spending time to whittle you know whittle them down. Uh, and now uh, you know put the uh, you know the the RPG card on them. My goodness. 
Yeah, the RPG card hitting on twos. You know, I mean, what what can't that infantry hold? I mean, the infantry itself, you put it on the objective, you got 11 stands, rate of fire two. So um, you really need to kill a whole bunch of them before you can even try to get in. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then he's got a lot of friends, you know, just has a lot of friends. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it, it's tough to really, you know, if they're defending, it's a tough cr nut to crack. If they're attacking you, it's a, well, it's a tough nut to defend against. I don't know. I can't hesitate any longer. I think we, we may have our first M rating. I, I, I think we do. Yeah. I think we have the first M. Yeah. So I, I'm going to go with an M. Yeah. Uh, same here. Well, let's see if the public thinks we're nuts. They well, probably do. People don't. People are pretty stingy about M's, get, uh, giving that out. So uh, I'm curious to see what they say. Well, here we go. Forty percent said A. Twenty nine said said B. I don't know. I don't know what these guys are smoking. There's a <laughs> D in there and there's a C, but thirteen percent said M. Yeah. So that's a pretty hard. Uh, I think the only other one, the highest five, and that may have also been our our highest one. Um. Yeah, I'll take a look here in a second, but uh, yeah, um, I, I I just don't see any weakness with this, it, and now it all comes about how are you going to push it? Yeah, um, because they're not that expensive, so that means if you wanted to take a a you know uh, a hood ornament formation support, uh, you know, not formation, uh, but you know, like IS twos or something like that, you you. you you have plenty of points left. I mean, it's just it, it it doesn't you know it's not sucking up all your points and it, it it they just do so much. So yeah, I, I'm going to move that in the M. Yeah. And, and, and unless what, what's the uh, um anyone else saying uh, there do do do. do. Well, I mean, well, hey, if Eric sets his NM, come on. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dean, right. The thing about the recon company is that it works in mid war and late war. So if you're just getting into the game, you go like, well, you know, I put this together and, and you know, the, your core is good. Uh, and then you just build around it. But anyway, back to this. I, I, I don't, I, I think it's an M. I, I can't think. I can't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, it all comes down now. How do you push it? Yeah, uh, and it to me, it's new person friendly uh, uh, for a list to learn uh, and be able to push. Uh, there's so many different options you can just get within the formation itself uh, to make it uh, competitive. Oh, by the way, the IS2s had three M oh. votes. Yeah. So this is the highest M vote. I believe it. Yep. Anyway, so if you're watching this live, you're like, man, I was there. <laughs> you know? Kind of like uh, what the Hindenburg, um, you know. Uh, it, uh, oh, uh, miracle on ice, you know. <laughs> so it's just you know, I I was there. Um. Okay. So. Um. Uh, well, oh wait a minute. Does this list allow for defending, or based on the fact that Soviets seem to be an attacking nation, or they always have to attack? Uh, you know what, Nathan? Uh, that hero mortar. It can do both. It, yeah. it can attack and it can defend. Um, you know, it, yeah. And I would probably uh, pick like just maneuver because um, it can do both uh, easily. Um, 
and uh, there there are uh, units in here that can move very quickly. The T thirty fours and then the uh, you know Panther uh, decoy company uh, that you can get integrated. Um, yeah, I mean it, it can it can do everything. Well, uh, anyway, just going here. Uh, Aaron uh, thinks that uh, they don't get as many toys. I, I think they get a lot of toys. And the smaller yeah. stand count, I mean, what? Our country is exceptional. We know that. Yeah, it is It is exceptional. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, they, anyway. Uh, Aaron, um, they get more options and more toys than HSR. And now, if you're talking about the platoon itself, the only thing that the HSR gets – uh, over to the Hero Motor is the ability to take a, a flamethrower team. I mean, I, I can I can do without a, a flamethrower team. Um, and if you really want a, a flamethrower team, you can just always dip down to the Hero SMG company uh, and take one. Mm-hmm. They, they have the same stats uh, as the uh, Hero uh, Rifle, uh, a little bit cheaper, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, well, well, he's, he's just um, trying to defend uh, the, uh, uh, the, Hero, the Hero Shock guys. Um of course, is that's what he took for for masters. As in, we took Aaron for providing it in a spreadsheet, and I had to type that shit up. Oh, excuse me, I had to type that up in the <laughs> in forces to be able to add it into the list. So I really appreciate that. Well, you know what's this way? The um, the uh, the I guess the, the proof is going to be well. Hold on, let's put it this way. Uh, at the end of Masters, because well, there's two people playing Hero Shock, uh, and, and they're the ones uh, talking right now, uh, Aaron and, and Chris. Jackson picked the rifle. What, yeah. Let's just at at the end of the tournament. Let's just take a look to see how they did. Yeah. You know, I mean, nothing set in. I mean, good lord, nothing set in stone here. Yeah. You know. Hey, by the way, you, here, guys, you know what? You know what makes us an expert on, on rating this stuff? It's the fact that I have a microphone. <laughs> and I have a hat. You have a hat. <laughs> that, that that's it. I have a microphone. That makes me an expert. And anyone who sports that kind of hat, they definitely gotta know what they're talking about. <laughs> so, you know, I, I I think at the end of the week. Uh, let's see. Let's let's see how things prevail, uh, how things work out, especially with some of the weirdness in there with with the you know with the combos and stuff. Uh, it, it it could get interesting. Let's just you know see how the different things will we'll track, and then and part of the I, I think part of the recap next week is how did they perform? Uh, did are you know like for example. Did the did the three more entries uh, uh, did the three more infantry stands and you know for that point what did that make sense you know did that work out the fact that they hit on you know the ones hit on twos did that work out uh, you know what, what's just we'll, we'll have enough oh Scar he's now got hiccups uh, there's enough uh, there'll be enough games between everybody we'll uh, we'll see. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Man, talking about throwing down the gauntlet. <laughs> Just, you know. <laughs> I, I will say there was only one list that had uh pairs of fours as the, the main formation, and that was the uh ringer list that uh Jake came up with that had yeah. a model on it because uh he wasn't taking reserves into consideration, but uh yeah, it's uh It'll be interesting. All right. Anyway, okay. So we we probably can you know whip out rulers and measure all day on, on this one, but 
for we'll just we'll have it just etched right there for you know, it's not etched we'll just we'll put it as a placeholder right now and then we'll see um but let's move on uh to the medium sp artillery regiment that's a lot of i think um Oh, yeah, there's the thing. Um, the uh, uh, the bot, a Panzer IV is if Joe's bet countered at Masters. See, well, first, Jake thought that it did, and that's the reason why he came up with uh, that oh. crazy list. I told him, I was like, oh, I think it's only Nationals. but It's yeah. only at Nationals. Yeah. So, wow. um, man, okay. So this is a crazy formation in in the Russian sense. It, it kind of yeah. more looks like a German formation just because it's tank, 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 tank. Oh, and uh, some infantry, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, you, you, it, it doesn't have a lot of company in its formation. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty light. Yeah. I, I think the interesting thing is, is that your HQ is mm-hmm. a Studley IS-2. Of, of the 122 variety. So it's a 14 medium, gun. Medium SP artillery for the he- Are we doing the medium or the heavy? Oh, I don't know. Which one did I pick? I thought you said medium, but. Uh... Uh, medium. Oh, sorry. Medium. <coughs> Good point. Thank you. I think we covered that one already. <coughs> medium. No, oh, turn formation. Uh, medium. Yeah. Oh, well, instead of an IS-2, it's a T-34-85. I don't know, no slouch, but... There's a veteran hit on fours, T-34, a seven-point T-34-85. Well, wow. you, don't, you, don't, you don't get to the top by being an idiot, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the, the medium, I mean, like you said, it, it is a... Um, Pretty as pretty bland uh, formation where you take four of the three different types of uh, medium SP um, uh, self propelled uh, they call it art, art, uh, artillery, but there's no bombardment in any of this. Uh, you can take on the SU 85s and the 85 M's. You can take a a warrior, uh, Krizov, um if you move less than six inches, uh, you shoot at your halted rate of fire. Uh, and then the unit leader may reroll any fail to hit rolls if the tank has not moved this turn, uh, but five points. So almost the cost of a, another tank. Um, you know, the um, SU variety, the SU 85 is 551, five, uh, five and a half to 5.8 points. Um, and then the M is uh, just has more armor on it, uh, and a uh, same cross. Surprisingly, normally the battlefront likes putting or uh, increasing the cross uh, when you uh, add armor, but it's five point eight to six. Uh, in comparison, when you take a look at the British uh, M10C, uh, it's you know four and a half points, and then the, the U.S. is four points a tank. Uh, so pretty steep on the value for AT-12. Uh, and then well, the cross... Which, looking at the 85 and the 85M, basically it's one point more for two points of armor. Uh, for the M10C and the M10s, which I think... No, are, no, the, the US, the SU-85 and the 85M. Yeah. Yeah, a five front... Yeah. Pretty much all the same statistics uh, is 23, and the 85M is 24. Yeah. I, I I don't know why you would not take an M. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you would take any of these, but uh, they, they do have the same cross, which is four, which is getting a little bit uh, iffy. Uh, they are hit uh, on fours. So that is uh, unusual as far as Soviet go. Um, and it can, that can make a big difference. Uh, 
but again, when you compare it to uh, the the M10s variety, uh, you're still paying for that. Stuff. Uh, of course, if you're being shot on the side, things have gone terribly wrong. Um, and then you have the SU-100, which is a, a massive AQ-15, uh, rate of fire one, full fire, and a five cross. Uh, if you get aboard with terrain, that'll be pretty tough to move those around. Or if your only ambush areas uh, are uh, tree lines, it's like, okay, I'm going to them here, and then that, that's where they're going to stay probably for the rest of the game. Um, not not a very strong formation. This is more of this like if you want to take uh, formation support, then you would um, you know with some AT uh, probably as you mentioned at eighty five pm, uh, then you would definitely uh, you know pull from pull from this. But as a formation itself, I don't see anybody uh, running this uh, specifically uh, as a formation. It's fairly uh, fairly weak. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, it's one of those things. I, I don't think I've considered these as, as a formation. I, I definitely support, uh, I, I, you know, you, you need some 12 guns, you know, anti-tank. Well, then again, you know, is it worth the, cause, uh, Four hero eighty fives is what eighteen points. Yep. Yeah, but, and, but they have a machine gun. These SU one hundred uh, SU tanks do not. So yeah, it, it's like uh, you know I might as well have the the T thirty four, um, because it's you know and, and not not to go back to version three, but you know because the old ones had like cat killers and that kind of crap. This has none of that, you know. Um, though, what, what's the skill? Skill still three? No, skill. Yeah, skills three. Yeah. So it, that serious bet, um, you know, and the the Sultas crap, uh, you know, so pretty typical for uh, anti uh, specific specifically an anti gun. Um, you know, it's just a, the cross is. You know the four plus, five plus. Again, if you get stuck on a, if you're playing on a, a desert board or a board that just has like hills, then you know this is a unit for you. But um, you, you know if you're playing on a board with terrain or or uh, hedgerows or something like that, this can be tough to move around. Um, and AT fifteen is nice. I mean, again, you can drop them. Uh, down and, and pretty much scare anything on the board, uh, especially with two plus firepower. And, it, and it's a 32 inch range, which is unusual for uh, Soviets. Most of their stuff is just 28. Um, not that you really play at those distances, but or shoot at those distances uh, on a regular basis, anyways. Um, yeah, uh, this is more just like if I want formation support, uh, I would. You know, pull that from from this. That's as good. Yeah, especially without machine guns, you, you can't defend against infantry. I mean, I'm just basically bum rushing your, your tanks with my infantry. Uh, well, of course, you can have things in support, but that's not what this is about. So, uh, as a formation itself, I mean, this is kind of a, a D to me. Uh, no chance to um, bombard or anything like that. Kind of makes for a poor artillery regiment. Um, yeah, I, I give it a C also. It's just you know, and hey, it'll do fine. But I, I just don't. I, I get some list or some boards. Yeah, I, I just don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're going to be setting the tournament scene on fire. You know, maybe some tanks, but uh, just not, not the tournament scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want. I, I wouldn't want to get smacked with the. 15. If, if you're playing a tanks giving, this is the list for you. No, true. It has a good tank tank uh Thanksgiving list. Um yeah, well, oh, okay, let's see what the public said. And the these guys uh, uh 42% C, uh 34% B, some 34 B, some A's and some D's. 
So yeah, I, I'd say this is definitely solid in the C C domain. Um, so we'll just move that right over there. Oh, um, okay. The moment you've been waiting for. Hero Cossacks. Yeah. Well, so that's a card, my friends. Yes. Um, so, and that card, the Hero Cossacks. Do ba do. Yeah. It's, it's built off the, the shock rifle. Oh no. <laughs> uh, it, it it's pretty much a shock rifle. Uh, company, uh, besides it has actually more options um, than, than the Hero Shock Rifle. They have access to the uh, 76 millimeter anti tank uh, and the 57 anti tank. Um, so you can still take the, uh, um, you can still take the uh, uh, Panthers, the decoy card uh, in the company formation. Um, can't include flamethrowers, obviously. You don't want to scare the horses. Uh, but this is a solid B for me because you have to pay for the darn horses two points. Give me the horses for, with the card instead of me having to pay for it for everything. So, uh, no, I mean, it's, it's probably a, a, a B. Um, it's still D in my book because, you know, the horse thing, but... Uh, um. Well, you know, uh, I don't know. Yeah, basically, it's just a takeoff on the hero uh, shocks. Uh, and it's what? Check. Um, yeah, you just can't take any flamethrowers, yeah. which is like, uh, you know, if you were going to take one of these things, you'd probably, you're, you're probably taking this. If you take a hero sh a shock rifle, it's probably because you want to have to take the flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, if not, just take the hero rifle, you know, which I heard is really, really good option. Um, so yeah, I, I, I go with these guys. Uh, though you could take each one of the guns if you wanted to. Yeah, it's, it's probably uh, I give it a B. Yeah. Uh, so let, let's uh, let's see what the, they had to say out there. Um, actually, most people said C. That's it's because they don't like paying two points for the horses either. Well, you know, it, yeah, it, it could be just out of principle. <laughs> uh, 42C, 37B, 11D, 8A. Well, obviously no M's. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah and, it's, it's, it's a C. Stiff for, uh, for the horses, which is... I mean, that's the reason why you want to take uh, Cossacks, uh, you know, is so that you can play it with the Cav. And it's just not, um, I mean, it's the same tactical. The, the only benefit you're getting uh, is the uh, two more on a train dash. Uh, and then your cross country is 20. Um, but again, two points per unit that you have to take it. Um, it was just, that's just too expensive. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, move it on. Another card, uh, the Ford detachment. Uh, I, I think this is an interesting little group. Uh, let me pull it up here. Uh, this is an interesting little group because it's a little from column A. It's a little from column B, you know, uh, I, I don't. I think you have to you have to take one well you have to take the headquarters and one tank or well two tanks or two infantry oh I'm sorry you have to take tank and oh and you have to take a rifle or SMG okay so basically it's headquarters a tank thingy and an infantry thingy, and then mix it up from there. Uh, it's one of those. It's definitely a mixed, um, you know, a, a mixed group. Uh, this is one of those things where if you want to take, the t basically, it's kind of like you taking the T eighty 
the T thirty four eighty fives hero. Um, and if you know, instead of taking SMGs, you could take the hero motor rifle. Um, and uh, the SU seventy sixes is part of the group. Uh, and you get one motor option. I, it's like, it's just kind of like a mumble jumble mixed up thing. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, the fact that you can only take one of anything that's on this card uh, really uh, makes it limited in my, as far as that formation goes, uh, limited uh, in its effectiveness. Um, um, it, it's going to um, I mean, it, it's it's interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not I'm not too high on this as far as uh, as a formation goes. Now, uh, would I combine it with maybe potentially other um, uh, other formations uh, to balance it out? Uh, sure. I'm trying to remember the Ford detachment in version three. Didn't couldn't you like do a full move at 16 inches or something like that, um, and then place all your your stuff in it? Oh, um, I I think I actually had to do something with um, uh, some spearhead unit that was in it. I I, I mm. trying to reach back in my memory there, but I think that was. Specifically, the forward detachment formation. I don't know why they wouldn't give that uh, to this, uh, or at least um, I think I think the decoy company was in the version. If you had that in your forward detachment, uh, then you could uh, move the full sixteen or, or whatever. Oh, hey, Aaron back. said it was always attack. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Um, oh, that's yeah. it. Spets Navs. Yeah. So, no, I'm, I mean, it's an okay. I think it's going to uh, uh, have some tough times. I, I think just some of these units are, aren't are really worthwhile, like the 270, um, the Valentine, really. Uh, I mean, you might as well take uh, the 23485. Um so I don't know. This is a lot of information uh, than than uh, that's really kind of a niche. I wish they were giving it more to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, but you know, this is what it is. Well, uh, I I give it a B, um, just because you you know the, how 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 you are forced to mix and match. Though I mean it's a novel idea to mix and match. Yeah. Uh, I just think in that eighty one hundred point range, it's probably, you know, uh, you, you got some uniqueness to it. But I, I think you can find another list and not be as constrained. Yeah. Um, you know, it just. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm actually leaning forward to see. Um, are you still tying up? What? Um, 30 points, 18, um, uh, plus, uh, what is, what was the motor rifle? Uh, 11, so 29 plus eight, uh, 12, so 32 points. All right. Version three, it, it was an infiltration unit. That's right. That's uh, right. there's, there's, there's bringing back some memories. All right. Which was a spec nav or decoy unit. And you had to roll to see if it revealed or you lost your first turn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people lived on the they they like to live on the edge with that one. You're like, okay, I'm in your grill. Yeah. I might not go first. <laughs> but that was after you already moved. So yes. uh, so yeah, it uh, I think I I never forget Chris. I think the first time I ran across that uh, a guy out of Austin, Chris Kitchen. Uh, pulled that on me and was like, "What?" 
And then he ended I think he had to roll like, if you rolled a six, you lost your turn. And he rolled a six. <laughs> just like everything out in the open. It was just like massacre. But um, yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Well, um, so, okay. I, um, I, I, I think I, what I give this a B? Uh, you said B. I was leaning towards a C. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. well, uh, wow. So the masses said B, like 50%. Uh, there are some people A. A lot of people A. And, and you know, maybe this is like diversity. Uh, uh, some 10. Look at this. Two M's. That's that's strong hopes for this. I well, I, I'm definitely going to say uh, with all that, we'll we'll put it in the uh, B column. Yeah. So, all right. So we'll put that in the B column. Um, well, only two formations left, everybody. Um, and the next one we're going to do is the Engineer Sapper Battalion. Engineer Sapper Battalion. All right. This is a, um, a really weird look. Right yeah, or is it affectionately called the LS-163. <laughs> Silly cards. Um, I, okay, so the engineers, um, you get a lot of them. This is, oh, this is where you get the smoke pots. Yep, and the body uh, pots. Yeah, Pioneers, smoke pots, the body armor. Um, I guess this is the guy that they they, they invested in these guys. Uh, hit on threes, save on threes. That's good. They're fearless. They're trained, except tactics are a three, assault are a three. Uh, I don't. <laughs> which is funny. I think digging in, they need a four, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which is like, hey, uh, it's like what else is left after that list? And it's like, I know. But uh, wait, uh, what's the pioneer keyword? I don't have my unit cards. Maybe yeah. that dig it in, or maybe that's uh, crossing minefields or something. Do it on the list. Oh, right. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like they, they should just put the skill at three. <laughs> three. Yeah. Uh, so three. This is. You can get uh, the Necro Panzer Faust uh, with them. So for two extra points, you can get the Panzer Faust, and then another point, you get the RPG, uh, and you have three deadly things that can bounce around in your forest that can never die. So, um, say that's uh, pretty effective. Uh, and then we talked about this earlier, where you can replace up to 16s. Uh, we'll see how they are not out and left from the front. Uh, I'm playing it more to, for Masters, more towards the version 3 side of it because of the way they have the wording. Uh, so a lot of cases uh, uh, for units that you choose up front, it's replace X with X at no cost. It doesn't say that here. So to me, it's leaning towards uh, a... Uh, you know, you just pick at the time of, of setup. Uh, but there is a Facebook post, which we're not using Facebook as a resource uh, for masters that uh, either Wayne or somebody is chimed in and says, no, you're supposed to pick it all beforehand. Well, they should have been a little bit more consistent with their wording. Uh, and uh, we'll, you know, have to, somebody will need to talk to Greg to, if that's the way they want to go, then Greg needs to have forces also to uh, account for that. Otherwise, it'll be confusing for people. But you're right. You get a ton of uh, uh, infantry uh, if you so choose. A little bit more than one point of uh, span. So a pretty good buy. They're SMGs. So everybody's familiar with SMGs. Uh, the smoke pox is interesting. Um, you can get two, uh, and you can fire a four inch or smoke artillery uh, in the same turn that you assault. If I remember correctly, kind of a weird uh, wording on it. But so if you move up, so within, I guess. Um, oh, yes. did, did, um, 
you know, I might have blanked out for a second. I was reading this. So <laughs> with these guys, you you could for two points, you can add a Panzerfaust. Yep. And then one point, you can add the RPGs also. Yep. Well, that's pretty sick. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, pretty stout. stout unit. And again, flexible. So uh, you can you know, put the flamethrower teams in it, mortars. Uh, you can, you know, have two each of the, the following PTRDs if you still do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, you know the HMG teams, so it's it's a pretty good unit. But the only thing holding them back is uh, the formation is pretty weak. So you can get three trapper um, platoon, uh, and then you can get some of the fancy tanks. Uh, you know the ISU, ISU, uh, one twenty two, one fifty two and the OT-34 integrated into the company. Uh, they also have a uh, uh, a hero, Ivan. Ivan. So what's Ivan do? Uh, Ivan. Uh, if your force does not contain another unit with spearhead, you may make a spearhead with this unit. Uh, he's specifically going for the, the engineer company. Oh, this okay. The unit passes rally and counterattack on a 2+. Oh, how much, is he, how much? How many points? Uh, hang on to your shorts. Seven points. Seven. So he's almost the cost of a small engineer <laughs> company. <laughs> uh, I, I, I could take. I get two points to get. You know, roller skates. So there's my thing. And I, I don't think the two points is wow. No, I, I, the. He ain't worth seven points. Jeez, yeah, he's definitely not worth seven points. Uh, you can take amphibious transport also, which is actually kind of interesting. I think they're oh. or something like that. So if you oh, want, you gotta get across the river. Yeah, yeah. Or or if you uh, for eight points, you can take Ivan uh, and the transports, and then you know, that's when oh, you're, you're cruising uh, now. <laughs> yeah, Ivan's a cruising. Yeah. I think this list is in that. I mean, there's so much flexibility uh, in this list, and so especially on the defensive side, um, this is a, a fan, these are fantastic uh, support formation uh, uh, units. Uh, but as far as a full company, uh, I'd be hard pressed. I'd say it's about that that C range. No, well, uh, I, I was going to give a B. I can be so talked to B. But, yeah, because only be for the fact that your engineers could basically they're kind of self efficient. Yeah, and, and if you got even if you got the, I mean, uh, you know, you got fourteen of them and you're paying eighteen points for, but uh, you know, but they can be self efficient. You know, actually, you know what really would really help with these guys is before the game you could pick what you want to put down on the table. That would make them a lot more flexible. Oh, I, I see you're an infantry company. Uh, I put this out there. Oh, I see you're a tank company. I put this out there. You know, yeah. this is this is what I'm going to do. I, I think that would make them uh, a little bit more interesting. If you have if you have to pick before the game, uh, that's that's pretty weak. Um, besides, hey, Battlefront. Uh, if you do it before, you know, where you could choose it before the game, you sell more models. This FYI, yeah, and, and and you and you give some like you know, ooh, I have choices, you know, and you're like, oh great, you know, ooh, a Panzer four, Panzer four platoon, uh, you know, I put this out there, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah I, it, I think, yeah, you're absolutely right. If it's if that stuff is done at time of lifts uh, list uh, submission. Uh, I'm a lot less excited. I, I think that's probably the reason why I lean towards the C. Uh, and if you could have choose at the time of uh, setup, uh, more of on the on the to have that flexibility is more of on the, on B uh, for me. But I'm curious to see. What, I'm sure the the folks out in the uh, interwebs uh, picked uh, B. So I'd like to see what they what they have. 
Well, hold on to your babushka. Uh, what the hell is that thing called? That the hat. I don't know. Uh, well, you hold on to it. Uh, all forty-two percent said A, and then thirteen uh, B, some C. Look at this. Four people said M. Wow. Of course, such a. I mean, they're flexible, but. Uh, oh, hold on. It, if they were where you could pick it before the game, you, you might have an argument. But if you have to concrete fix it before the tournament, no, there's no way. Uh, it was more, it, but when we take a look at the formation itself, the fact that it doesn't have mortars integrated into it, I mean, to get mortars, uh, you literally have to take another company, some rifles or whatever. Uh, to get that. So the fact that it doesn't have any of those support options built into it, uh, I'd, even with that flexibility toward the game, I, I would not say it's it's an M. Uh, an A, certainly, uh, but this doesn't have the options like the Hero Motor. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking the current way with the non-flex, you know, they're not, not flexible, I'm thinking B. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to say both. So we'll just slide those over there. Um, well, anyway, that leaves the IS-85 Guard Heavy Tank Regiment. Last but not least. Yep, this is similar to the setup that we... Um, had with the IS-2, where you take four platoons of it, um, or four companies of it, and then the uh, hero company, uh, hero SMG. Um, they're a solid eight points a tank. Uh, they have that three, um, you know, veteran skill. Um, you know, AT-12, 1082, uh, that can really put things around. Uh, when you look at comparable tanks, uh, the Panther SS is 8.8. Uh, now uh, it doesn't, obviously doesn't have, doesn't have the skill. Uh, less front armor, less side armor. Uh, a couple more AT, but um, you know it's pretty uh, pretty favorable. The, the only thing that I that the IS2 company had uh, that is not available on IS85 is the IS2 had the option to get the IS-85, uh, where the IS-85 regiment doesn't have the option to get the IS-2 built into the company. So uh, that's a that's a pretty big hit because it is a lot of AT-12. You can put things around with that, but if you're coming up against the Tigers or uh, or even itself or Panthers, uh, you want to have uh, that higher AT in your back pocket. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to integrate that in into the company. Um, I concur. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the fact yeah. that there are three, I mean, they're expensive. But, yeah, it's tank, 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 and some infantry, which, by the way, you can get the engineers, you know, the sappers. Mm -hmm. Smoke them if you got them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't have any of the buddies, you know. You don't have a mortar option. I mean, um, and if you're going to be playing with, um, you know, pack fronts out there, you, you you need a mortar option. I mean, oh, sure, you're 11 at distance, but, I mean, that's still a lot of firepower coming at you uh, that you got to figure out how to kill. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. On two, which is interesting. I mean, if I do, the boss is only three. But yeah, I mean, to me, it, it, it'll have issues with a uh, big tank. Uh, so it's it's a B in my, uh, my book. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go with the B also. Um, just because the, the the twelve ain't gonna cut it for everything, especially since I mean you're bringing such. It's one of those things. I mean, you could take a punch, but you really can't dish it out. Um, I mean, you know, 
you're not going to be facing. Boy, you can. It'd be really good against a lot of Churchill formations, but you know, still. Uh, and the fact that you have to figure out some option for an artillery. Um, yeah, I don't yeah. know. A after you buy this bunch of stuff, you don't have much. You know, you don't have any points left over, really. Yeah. Yeah, that AP-12, again, is eight and below in the front armor is kind of where it uh, shines. Once you start getting over that, uh, you get to, you know, AT-12 gets a little long in the tooth. Uh, so, and then when you talk about uh, Tigers and, and Panthers uh, and even itself, uh, AT-12 really tends to struggle. Well, you, uh, you ready to see what the... I'm, I'm going to hang on to my hat again. They went B. Uh, almost half went B. Uh, then again, you know, 34% A, C, 2M. Yeah, I, I think I think it's definitely in the, the B column. Yeah. Um, so let me do this. Let me uh, remove that. And... Bring back the list. Yeah, give me a sec. And uh, boom. There we go. Yep, there we go. So <clears throat> currently, uh, this could change over the weekend. We'll see. But we have our first end, which is the Hero Motor Rifle Battalion. Uh, squarely in the A's. Uh, your IS-2, uh, your Hero T-34-85s, and your Hero Shock Rifle. Uh, for the Bs, uh, it's the T-34s, the T-34-85, the Heavy SP Artillery, the Recon Company, Ford Detachment, uh, Engineer Sappers, and the IS-85s. Uh, in the Cs, well, yeah, I noticed all the fonts are different. Uh, in the C's, the motor rifle, uh, the the motor rifle battalion, rifle battalion, Cossacks. Uh, they've been exiled here because the horses cost more. Uh, the Hero T thirty four, the medium uh, SP artillery, and the Hero Cossacks. And then rounding out the D's, the T seventy Recon Tank Company. Uh, so, um. Yeah, that, that's uh, so. There we go. Uh, that's what we have now. Uh, we'll just put the little asterisk next to the hero motor rifle. Uh, we'll see how it performs in, in uh, masters. Uh, we'll see how the hero shock uh, groups uh, also do. Which, by the way, all three players are excellent players. Um, so we'll see how they do. Um, so they're you know all those guys are going to be dangerous. Um, so, you know, I, I tell you the truth, I, you know, with my little, my British, I don't particularly want to face any of them. So we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, watch. Uh, I, I draw all three. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, um, and, and, and so next Tuesday we'll report back and, and let you guys know how, how, uh, how these guys did. Uh, maybe these guys will come on and tell you, how that their their uh, formations uh, performed, um, and and give you guys some feedback. But uh, remember, guys, this is uh, you know we're kind of our little service to the community, um, and uh, about how you guys can do. So if if you guys have been hanging on this long, let's play. What did I learn today? So uh, so everyone who's on, if you just could post something about what you learned uh by the way it, it doesn't have to be a serious item it just have to be what did you learn in the last two hours and 50 minutes 15 minutes um you know it could be anything about the the boat song all the way to uh brian's mullet um whatever <laughs> what did i learn i learned jake has a infatuation with uh mullets yeah yeah oh he has something about mullets I okay. get commenting quite a bit on it. Um, uh, I I learned that we might actually have our first M. No, 
Uh, Eric says, um, uh, I learned that Jeff, Jeffrey's moving up on the deluxe apartment in the sky. Oh, okay. Uh, I probably should read these before I hit the button. Um, oh, here, here's another one I won't read. Uh, Brian can't pull off that haircut. Oh, all I right. Um, yes, I learned that M Maxims can take RPG sixes. Yeah, because they're an infantry. Um, the uh, minefields are easier uh, to base than 120 millimeter mortars. <laughs> um, Christian, what I learned, I need a larger cat badge. Oh, yeah. Is your cat badge a little small? Oh, hold on. First of all, don't tell me you have cat badge envy. <laughs> Uh, any other, I, well, you know, I should say any other, what have we learned? Uh, but, uh, there's only so many people on, uh, um, Hey, Anne, have you learned anything today? I learned that you guys can talk a lot about Russians. Oh yeah. 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 Volt. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we could talk. Wow. There was a lot of things to cover, you know, this book had a lot of stuff in it. Uh, a lot of it. Very good. That, the book is, uh, yeah, you know, one of the better ones it had a lot of flavor in it. Um, so well, I think that that goes to show what happened with Masters. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, with everything else that you know, a lot of here uh, British rifle something. Um, you know, the Russians were. You know, there was a lot of them. So six people, five different types of formations. So that's pretty good. Yep. Um, Oh, uh, Christian, he thinks he gives the, the book an A. Matter of fact, I, you know what? Well, how did people read the book? Uh, I think I showed that last week. Um, something like that. They rated it. Um, the the book itself, 16% said five. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. 43% uh, said five. 43% said four. The, the rest of it must be they just don't play Russians. Uh, and by the way, the command cards, 43% uh, said five. And I, I agree with that, uh, that the command cards are really good um, for this book. I You know, I, I'm kind of curious on uh, what, like, bulge lists are going to look like. Battle of the bulge lists, you know. Um uh, what, what that's what that's going to be, well, uh, you know, especially well, I think, for the. I, I think the um, uh, the bulge lists are going to be wrapped into uh, the all the way to the end of the war. So, because uh, I, I think uh, according to their release chart, there's only one more American book. There's only one more British uh, and German book. I don't know if there's another Soviet book or not, but uh, it probably should be. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, so everything that, uh, that you want, uh, or have seen before is going to be in those books. Uh, and oh, the, in all honesty, yeah. the Americans, um, uh, you know, the Americans really need the, the help quite a bit to stay competitive. Um, so we'll, we'll see what's in, what's in those books. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with Aaron there. I hope there's a Len Lease book because I have a lot of Sherman uh, 75, so sorry, 76 Len Lease tanks already painted. Yeah. And that was I, uh, for me. That was a very fun list to push. Um, oh yeah, it's a 50 cal carrier basically. Yeah, I'm, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the story goes. You know, I, I I would move up to fifty cal the the you know the pack forties, and and I was rolling. Yeah, I, you know, I, I normally play German, so I don't roll too many dice. But this time, I was just scooping up six siders, and and they were like tumbling out of my hands. There were so many of them. And I was just giggling. <laughs> yeah. And then when I would roll, the table would bow <laughs> from the weight of the dice. 
Yes. That yep. was fun. Yep. Just 50 counting things off the table. I was on the receiving end of that list more than I care to admit. Was not fun. Uh, actually, I, I uh, with because I always would take the two heroes with that. Um, uh, what were their names? Zukov and something else, and uh, very Russian names. Yeah. And you know, and you, you get like you know a move and a spearhead, and and then you just go go to town. Oh, I I, I always I, I love that list. It was I had fun with that list. Um, I, I just hope uh, I hope the Len Lease comes back. Um, uh, Ivan, oh, whoops, the oh, Loza, right? Loza, I don't know if the guy was Ivan, yeah, Ivan and the other Ivan, right? Yeah, you'd, you'd be pretty fair off if you just said Igor and Igor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 I hope that comes back. Um, you know, the, there's a a couple. Okay, there's a couple theme um, tournaments that if you if you said I wanted to do this theme, you get a lot of people showing up. And there's two types, the two the two themes, market garden and bulge. Yeah, uh, I I hope they do. Um, something for that, so you can say, "Here, here's your market garden, and here's your bulge," so that you could say, "Okay, hey guys, we're doing the theme market garden." I, by the way, I think market I think garden draws be, a lot of people. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think it's going to be so clear cut uh, between that because they they all have to wrap it into uh, the final book, so. Um, you know, it, you know, what we'll to see, you know, how it comes out. But there's a lot of territory, you know, you have the again, Market Garden Bulge, uh, into Berlin, all that has to be covered in, in one book. Uh, and you know, they're reluctant to, uh, you know, exceed a certain number of pages. So, you know, we might not see all the options, uh, that we're used to from version three. Um, well, be unfortunate, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, we don't know what's what's in that. Uh, well, they those. don't have to do a hardcover book. Uh, but they're, they haven't been really releasing any uh, PDF style uh, formation. They, they could they could still do that, like uh, like they did for the twenty first Panzers. Yeah, yeah, that would be. Or I guess maybe the the D Day Airborne is another example of that. It's just a smaller uh, pamphlets. Um, yeah. So I was trying to look to see if I had them over there, but um, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, uh, you know, this. Uh, you're right. I mean, uh, those themes uh, uh, tournaments like that. Uh, there's always, yeah, I, I think, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Wolfskrieg, Wolfskrieg always does a kind of a theme around a yes, theme. They do. Yeah, yeah. Wolfkrieg. Wolfkrieg. Wolfkrieg, thank you. Which, by uh, the way, it, it turns out it, um, they, Tom Burgess and those guys were doing it. There was a guy named Wolf. Uh, I, I never met him. Uh, they were doing a going, going away. And they did a tournament, going away tournament, and that's how it started. So yeah, that's how they got named. There's a band in Germany called Wolfkrieg. And I I I have a thing where I posted a bunch of stuff from Wolfkrieg, and I got like comments like, This ain't the band. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not the band. I mean, geez Louise. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to be funny. Well, yeah. You know, well, no. They're like, hey, dude. You know, I'm doing a Google on the band, and if you Google the band name, all of a sudden there's like picture of me and Tom doing a video, you know, <laughs> at, at Wolf Creek. <laughs> now, anyway. Um, so, but that. Okay, guys, we're we're gonna be wrapping up. Remember, we're gonna be doing live uh, live events at um, 
at uh, Hard Knocks Games for Masters as people are going to be fighting for this hardware, this beautiful plaque trophy or, or plaque uh, stained in the blood of our enemies. Um, that is, uh, that, that's the goal right here. This, this plaque, uh, was done by beautiful work and ship by myself. <laughs> Have router will travel. And, uh, anyway, Brian, I, I like to, uh, once again, thank you for uh, coming on and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, working with us on this and, um, My you pleasure. know, and uh, people are saying that uh, you need to get it. Uh, I, I was calling last week. I was calling him. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was calling him a. Uh, well, I was calling you a long-haired hippie. Yeah, uh, a commie hippie or something like that. Anyway, um, I can't until February, so I kind of made a, a deal with myself. I've never had my hair long, so about June, I was like, oh, I might as well grow it out. So I'm, you know, committed to keeping it until, uh, you know, for one full year, and then. I'm gonna cut <laughs> cut this crap off as as quickly as I can after that because yeah, definitely not me. Yeah, well, hind tight off the collar. Mm -hmm. There you go, no. number two. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, uh, believe it or not, in my in my youth, uh, I had long hair. <laughs> yeah, back or head? Huh? Back or head? Uh, I oh I had, I had a lot of hair at one point, you know. Uh, I had a lot of hair and it was long and curly. and curly, yeah, and wavy. Yeah, the chicks like to run their fingers through my hair. Um, then, uh, well, anyways, you know what? Uh, basically, some sometimes time is not kind. <laughs> and you know what they say: your mild your mileage may vary. Yeah. <laughs> That's the story of my life. Anyway, uh, Ann, you you uh, you ready to play us out? Sure. What song do you want? Uh, do do the. You know what? I can do the classic thing. What's what you want to do the classic the the bo, uh which one? There's a classic dance thing I have here. A classic dance or hold on. You want to do classic dance or the the uh the bo boatman the boatman song? I am all for the Cossacks. Cossacks, it is. We'll play out Cossacks. We'll go Cossack all the way. Two points for the horse, are you? Right. Yeah, no, no. Uh, we're not going to charge you extra for horsies. Okay. Okay? Ready? Ready? Okay. Go. All right. Oh, yeah. Get faster as we go. Yeah. We got some. <laughs> what what what's the instrument called in a, a bacala? What's the instrument called? A balalaika. Right. So balalaikas and yep. faster and faster. Anyway, <laughs> you guys are hanging on there. You guys are you guys are loyal or you guys are too busy to reach over and hit the end button. That, you know, well, you guys must be like just sitting there painting. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just going to listen to these guys ramble on and talk about Russian music and hair and, and goofy hats and hat sizes. And somehow I believe Joe had really long hair at one point. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> Jean jacket, long hair. Oh, I was the fizzle. Makes you just want to drink vodka and and do that dance when you're on your on your heels. Yep. Oh wow. 
when would they bust out this song? Just, you know, drink out of a bar and just bounce? Oh, you know. Wedding? Sounds like the hey. reach. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yep. It sounds like they reached their fastest. Oh, there it is. There hey, Mazel Tov. Except, I don't know. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs>